can we see air hello friends how are you all i hope you all must be doing fine welcome to our youtube channel that is unknown facts in this video we will be discussing about the interesting fact that is can we see air can you guys all see air to answer this question we must first talk about why we can see everything for us to see an object we need light after light has hit an object some of the colors will be absorbed by it and other colors will be reflected by it those colors that are reflected by the object they travel to our eyeball and they are interpreted by your brain what this means is that if you see a red fire truck then the object has reflected the red light in your eyes but it has absorbed all other colors and light that have hit it Human beings do not see every possible wave of light that exists. Instead, there is a narrow range of light that we can see and that is dependent on the frequency and the wavelength of your light. If you imagine looking at a beach, the ball floating on the waves in the ocean, then the frequency tells you how ball the fastest going up and down, while the wavelength tells us the distance between the top of the two waves. For humans the visible light spectrum it lies between the violet light with a wavelength of around 400 nanometers and the red light with a wavelength of around 700 nanometers but there are other types of light that we know of that we cannot see with our eyes but we can detect some examples would include the x rays which is wavelength of 10 nanometers or ultraviolet light rays that is wavelength of 300 nanometers and infrared light that is wavelength of over 1000 nanometers so here is the question that is why is air invisible air is transparent to our eyes because we have evolved the retinas that are sensitive to the very wavelength of the light that pass through it otherwise we wouldn't able to see anything at all wind is just moving air caused by the pressure difference in the atmosphere low pressure air is less dense than the high pressure air and so the lower refractive index which affects the path of light rays it slightly stars twinkle in the sky which because of the tiny distortions in the atmosphere but you can't observe the effect with the ground level objects because they are much nearer and your brain processes signal from your eyes to present as stable as possible since our eyes can only see within a very narrow range of the color spectrum anything that we are able to see it must be reflecting light and that fits within the range for air it turns out that the colors that are able to be reflected do not lie in that visible range if humans were capable of seeing those particular reflections our field of vision would be constantly disrupted by the air in front of us okay and every day we would be living in the middle of the giant cloud small changes in the color also would be noticeable but you wouldn't be able to see clearly because the cloud is in the way there is no more coincidence instead it is a product of how the human eye has evolved over the time to ensure that our vision is not inherently hazy so now i hope you all must be clear that why we can't see air so you don't try seeing it even because you would not see the air so if you have any query or any doubt regarding the same video do comment in the comment box given below take care and stay safe